Xbox One X. And as you can see, we have no picture on display. This is from a shop that typically handles HDMI ports, so we probably have something along the lines of a read driver issue, but we will take it apart, inspect everything, and make sure, and do some measurements, and hopefully we'll see something that will indicate what the problem is. This video is brought to you by PCB Way. More about their awesome services in a bit. Our board is out of the housing, and we're prepared to do some testing here. But first, let's have a look at this HDMI port, just to make sure we're not chasing our tail. Everything looks relatively solid. Let's take some readings around the read driver, measure this capacitor, and see what we're reading. 126 ohms is very low. What you would ex be expecting to see here is in the tens of thousands of ohms. Another way to confirm is we'll pop over here to the ESD booster IC. And yeah, we're reading 126 ohms. Again, we'd be expecting thousands or tens of thousands of ohms here. So pretty good bet that our read driver has failed. So let's get set up to remove that while I am setting up. Throw up my expected temperatures for this job. These temperatures are brought to you by the Amazon Associate links in the description. If you head to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, or if you buy anything during that session, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It won't cost you an extra dime. Let's discuss how I'm going to approach this. I'm going to pull the chip, and while the board is still warm, I'm going to put the new chip back on. We'll apply some flux. I have the new IC staged off over here on the mat in the correct orientation, so I just have to pick it up and pop it back on. I'm watching for this pin here to wet. Head over to PCBWay.com and click on PCB Instant Quote. There you can choose from Standard PCB, Advanced PCB, FPC and Rigid Flex, really cool technology, Assembly, SMD Stencil, and CNC and 3D Printing. Click my affiliate link in the description and get started today. Board is still warm. I'm going to re-wet that solder. We're watching for the center pad to wet. So we need to grab on to our IC. Make sure it has grabbed on before you let go of the IC, otherwise you will blow it to the ninth dimension. Once you've centered it, remove the heat, let it tack down, push down, wet one more time. Don't push down too hard. Remove the heat, hold it down, and should be good to go. Those copper marks on the side are what they call alignment marks. As long as you are aligned and flat, you are making contact. If you want to go over these pads, you can. It isn't too densely populated and you're not likely to bridge something. Whereas like on a Nintendo Switch, I generally don't recommend touching up. On those devices, you're highly likely to bridge a capacitor or a couple of capacitors together. There's just not much room to work. Let's measure again. We're in the tens of thousands of ohms. This measurement is not 100% reliable. I'd say it's 99.5% reliable. Occasionally, you will get a chip that has failed in a way that is not detectable with your meter. The next step is to clean up and then we'll put it back in the housing and give it a test. I hope this video is being helpful to you in your repair journey. Just a reminder, if this is something beyond what you want to try yourself, I do offer these services. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, fill out the form, and I'll get back to you personally. Moment of truth. Don't want to do that without the fan. I knew I was forgetting something. Moment of truth. That's a good sign. Back up and running at 1080p. And it appears we have been successful. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one like it, click that one right there. And I'll see you there.